for the remainder of these cases, these will just be general neuroradiology cases, so we'll get out of neurodegenerative disease. Before we begin, I have a warm-up picture for you. This picture is taken from a street sign in Estonia, so just get ready. Case 6 is a 30-year-old patient, postpartum day 1, with eclamptic seizure and somnolence. Here we have a T2 image on the left and a flare image on the right. Here, just a little bit higher, we have an additional flare image on the left and a susceptibility or gradient image on the right. Question 6a, what is the most likely diagnosis? Question 6b, what is the cause of this condition? In this case, what we're dealing with is a case of acute hypertensive encephalopathy, or PRESS. Uh, what this is is a disorder of vascular autoregulation abnormalities, uh, so the patient's autoregulation gets disturbed. Uh, certain things are associated with it, including hypertension and eclampsia. There are a number of drugs which can cause breasts as well. It's kind of poorly understood. The imaging findings which you typically have are you have these patchy cortical signal abnormalities. Uh, you can have abnormal signal in the basic anglia. You can have abnormal diffusion associated with these areas. You can have small amounts of hemorrhage. If you read some reference materials, they'll say that subarachnoid and intraparenchymal hemorrhage is rare. But I'll tell you that I've seen it on a number of occasions, so hemorrhage should not include uh, this diagnosis or exclude this diagnosis. Uh, these changes will evolve, but they don't necessarily resolve completely. So people have really gone away from using uh, PRESS as a definition because it's not always posterior, it's not always reversible, and the patients don't always uh, have encephalopathy. Uh, here what you'll see is that uh, there are some basal ganglia hyperintensities that you see on both T2 and flare. And uh, then you have cortical signal abnormalities. So here you see these abnormalities following the sulci there. As you get a little higher, again, you have uh, some cortical signal abnormalities on both sides. And uh, you see there's some abnormal uh, susceptibility that's going on in the sulci. That's a little bit of subarachnoid blood associated with this. Uh, the answer to question 6b is that this is caused by, as we discussed, uh, altered vascular autoregulation. Uh, this is not caused by any of these other uh, by any of these other etiologies.